Karl the Moon on crypto theme for all guys here in Balkan community. Karl, it's nice to see you here. Thank you so much. It's my pleasure. I know you don't have lots of time. I have only three questions for you, only three topics. I would I would like to start with uh, your project, Casta. People in crypto space, lots of people who just start uh, with crypto, they always look just price and that's it. But uh, it was bear market, lots of good project, price go down. And uh, I would like to ask you about Casta, what's going on? So Casta is actually one of my absolute biggest investments. It's because I, I believe in the fact that um, crypto payments need to be uh, simplified. Crypto and fiat payments. Uh, because uh, when I'm um, traveling around the world, when I'm sending money between my friends, um, it's always a big hassle. Even I, either I have to use some crypto exchange or I have to use cash. But there is no easy way to to unify everything. So so that that's how the idea of Casta came about. Uh, it was actually Carl Rogan, the the CEO of Casta, who came up with the whole idea and and asked if um, I want to jump on board and invest and everything. So and and I I love the idea. I think it's a great idea, and I still believe in that idea uh, to this day. And of course, the app is live right now, so anyone can download the app. People can can use the app and send money right now, send crypto. And uh, the, the big, big things are going to happen in the next uh, two, three months. So people should pay attention to the Casta uh, Twitter and the website, I would say. But Casta.io is the, the official uh, website. Bear market means lots of good opportunities for people who can look not just one week, a few months, you know, what's what will happen in the next few months, in next uh, year, you know, because price is very good, I see. Uh, I, I saw somewhere you invest in more than 200 uh, crypto project. One of the last project you invest is me. People maybe don't know here on Balkan community about that project, but it's very, very big project. It's about gaming. We, we had uh, Corona. Lots of gaming project explode. True. It was locked down. Yes. Lots of new people I, uh, came in this war, in this gaming world. You know? Gaming has grown very quickly. That is true. Uh, gaming is actually a bigger industry than music and TV combined, by the way. So it's a massive industry. Um, and then if you combine crypto to that, it's going to become a multi-trillion dollar industry. So um, I've invested actually in um, in many crypto games. I invested um, insane amounts of money into Medieval Empires because I really do believe that uh, Medieval Empires has a great chance of becoming probably the biggest crypto game because the idea behind uh, Medieval Empires is to be free to play, free to enter, and zero blockchain knowledge needed. That's very important because if you look at the most of the crypto games right now, and you need to technically understand um, NFTs and and blockchain technology and and you know hardware wallets, like it's a little bit a little bit too uh, complicated. So uh, that's what the Medieval Empires team is simplifying, and uh, I'm very very um, positive on that trend. And I think there's a bear market, so everyone has to look into what's going to be the next big trend because right now there's not really like a, a, a strong hype in the crypto space, but there's always another trend around the corner. And if you just look at the gaming industry, the traditional gaming industry like i said it's it's such a massive industry uh, nine times bigger than music and three times bigger than movies uh and it's growing very fast and crypto is of course also growing fast so um that's why i think uh, crypto gaming is um is such an obvious uh bet so that's why i have a lot of exposure to to crypto games and of course um, engin altan duziatan is the face of medieval empires um he's of course um one of the most respected actors in the whole world. And um, the game is also based on the whole historical uh, events. I think that's going to be exciting. And I love playing games myself. I'm a gamer myself. So I'm, I'm very, very happy to see uh, Casta being live now. I'm very excited to see Medieval Empires going live very, very soon. I'm, I'm, I'm happy about crypto in general. I think that the bull market is uh, just around the corner right now. I saw your video uh, a few hours ago. Uh, someone asked you, uh, what do you think about uh, Bitcoin price prediction in next five years? and uh, can you repeat that for me and for my community here what is your expectation yeah, so i think in the next five years bitcoin is going to go to uh, between 500,000 up to 1.3 million dollars and that's just based on historical um, uh, price data historical cycles and the halving cycles you have these four-year cycles i'm really just going back to the trends and looking at what should happen based on that and some people call me crazy but 
back when Bitcoin was at 3K, I said Bitcoin is going to uh, to uh, like 50,000. Um, and people called me crazy back then as well. But we hit 50K, we hit 70K. So um, people always call um, Bitcoin believers crazy until they're proven wrong, which always happens, by the way. In the next five years, we have two halving. Not just one. That yeah. means if you have if you have a child and he's uh, ten years old, maybe the best investment for the future is to buy buy some bitcoins for for your kids. Yeah, I mean, if you don't hold any bitcoin, then I would say I would say you're taking a massive risk. I would uh, I would um, urgently um, have some exposure to bitcoin because it's going to be uh, one of the biggest investments in, in, in human history. I mean, it's already been like, and I don't think the gains are over yet. I think Bitcoin can still do a 50 or 100 X uh, in the next um, 10, 15, 20 years or so. Sometimes it's not just about the gains because if, yes, you, exactly, if you say money exactly. in the bank or someone, you will lose it. You know? Yeah. Sometimes people ask me like, what is my Bitcoin exit strategy? But I usually tell them that, look, Bitcoin is my exit exit strategy. It's like I'm exiting the fiat system and I'm, I'm super happy about it. Uh, Carl, it was a pleasure. Thank you so much. Yes. Mm -hmm.